Hello, I'm Dale from Gecko Board, and today I'm going to show you the simplest, the quickest, and the easiest way to create a SQL dashboard. If you already know how to write, or at least copy and paste, SQL queries, and you want to create a dashboard that looks like this, but you don't have the time to mess around with complicated solutions, then stick around because this is the video for you. As you may already know, SQL, or SQL, stands for Structured Query Language, and it's a type of programming language we use to select and query data stored in databases. Therefore, a SQL dashboard is simply a dashboard tool which uses SQL to visualize data from one or more of these databases. Generally speaking, there are two common reasons why somebody might want to build a SQL dashboard. The first is that you might need to analyze data held within your database. In other words, you need an interactive dashboard or some other kind of visual tool that will help you drill into the data and investigate trends. For this, most analysts will use a business intelligence tool, a BI tool like Power BI or Tableau. Now, these are incredibly powerful, but they can also be quite complicated and time consuming to set up. However, there is a second reason why you might need a SQL dashboard, not for analysis, but to communicate KPIs held within your database. A KPI dashboard like this allows a large number of people to stay easily informed about their key metrics without needing to access the database directly. Whether they're viewing the dashboard online or via an office wallboard, the benefit is that they can access live KPIs at a glance. And the best part is, if you need to create a KPI dashboard for the purposes of communication, you don't need a complicated BI tool you just need GeckoBoard. GeckoBoard is perhaps best known as a no-code solution, which visualizes data from tools like Salesforce, Google Analytics, and Zendesk. However, providing you know how to write or at least work with SQL queries, it also has a very useful SQL database integration, which connects to tools like Snowflake, Amazon Redshift, MySQL, and many others. So in five easy steps, I'm gonna show you how to create a SQL dashboard using Gecko Board. Step one, sign up for a free trial with Gecko Board, no credit card required. Step two, connect your database. To connect your database, head to our data sources page and select databases. Here, you'll need to select your database type and fill in security details associated with your database. Be aware that your database will need to be accessible via the internet. Step three, build a widget. Gecko board dashboards are made up of a series of visualizations called widgets. To build a widget, you just need to enter a SQL query. For this example, I already had some pre-written SQL queries we use in another tool called Redash. So instead of writing a new query, I'm just gonna copy and paste one from there. This query shows me how many customer support tickets have been raised each day. So I just need to enter this into Gecko board, run the query, and then select the most appropriate visualization. In this case, a line chart. Step four, continue adding widgets to build up your dashboard. You can resize your visualizations, group related metrics, and add goals to show progress. You can also include visualizations from over 80 other data sources like Shopify, Facebook, or Google Sheets. Step five, share your dashboard. Once your dashboard is complete, you can create a sharing URL, automate snapshots of your dashboard for email and Slack, or display your dashboard permanently on a TV screen. Or you can invite others to view your dashboard in your Gecko Board account. And it's as simple as that. You can check out Gecko Board by heading over to geckoboard.com. If you have any questions at all, just leave those in comments and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did find this video useful. Have a great day. Ooh.